everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today's video is going to be an unboxing. So I'm just currently waiting for a big box of fish to arrive that I ordered recently. It's come from uh, another hobbyist who I've mentioned a few times in the channel before, uh, Aquadiction. So if you've been following along, you might have heard me talking about the trials and tribulations of trying to get my uh, pet shop license and trying to find wholesalers for tropical fish and plants and all the problems I've been having because I don't have a retail store. Um, if you're new here currently all I've got is a website, it's aquariumadventures.co.uk where you can go and buy lovely things like this t-shirt or these fantastic beanie hats. Quick plug for these, these are fantastic, really comfortable, one size fits all, happy with them. I couldn't find any wholesalers that were willing to deal with me because I don't have a retail premises and I understand the reasons why, because they want to keep their bricks and mortar shop supplied um, and make sure I'm not taking business away from them because obviously I can sell it a little bit cheaper not having my own uh, retail premises to pay for and business rates and all that good stuff. But I found or was kindly offered from a hobbyist breeder to take their stock online so that's what we're waiting for today. So just currently sitting and waiting so we'll come back when the fish arrive. They have arrived. What state they're in, we don't quite know. Literally just turned up. Um, the box doesn't look in great shape. It's got a massive big dent here. And it's dry, but it feels like it's been wet. Um, yeah, so the box isn't in brilliant shape. But let's get it opened up. So it's probably worth saying as well at this point, I don't think any of this is the sender's fault because these were shipped on a priority 24 hour service, yeah, the, the top's wet as well. On a 24 hour service by UPS, shipped in plenty of time on the first day, so they were sent on the Thursday, it's now Monday. And it's just UPS being a bit crap, I think. See, even on Friday it was saying, yes, it's on its way. All the way through so the bag has definitely been wet but it's got a big poly box inside so i don't know that it's the water's come from inside it might have just been stored somewhere that was wet maybe but i'm just going to do my best to get them out and get them into the fish room where it's quite warm so i imagine it'll be quite cold inside There is at least some life. Oh, it's cold water though. Heat packs, stone cold as you would expect. The 24 hour heat packs that have been in here for five days. Uh, I don't know if they're alive or dead, if I'm completely honest. I think there is some signs of life. Now, I'm going to get these into the fish room. I won't do my normal unboxing. Um, I just want to get these in and floating and see how we get on. There has been some leakages because they've used these packing peanuts, which when you get them wet, you can tell they go a bit. Um, definitely some life in that one as well, but they don't look good. So that was Blonde Blush Guppies and Blue Star Indlers. Yep, some female Blue Star Indlers. I've got five pairs of Blonde Blush Double Sword Guppies. Every bag is absolutely freezing cold. But the fish are still alive so far, in the large part. Another five pairs of Blonde Blush Double Sword Guppies. And they look a bit less happy. There's one swimming upside down. The water looks a bit cloudy in this one as well. There's one at the bottom. 
looks like it's a goner. But you never know, sometimes they can come back. Let's get that one in there. Um, this looks like the bag that might have split a little. But the fish still in there okay. Another five pairs of blonde blush double sword guppies. I mean, even for being in such rough state, they still look really good. And this looks like another casualty of some spill, maybe. Ten male blue star endlers. Uh, they don't look good. Oh, we'll get them in. Twelve male wild guppies. They actually look quite active. Freezing cold again, but so bright, even for being in such a bad condition. I don't know if you can see them in there. These are some cool guppies, so I'll get them in floating. Two more bags. What have we got in this one? Another female blue star endlers. A couple in there. Looking a bit worse for wear. And last but not least, 10 female blue stars. So I think what's happened is probably one of, well, it looked like two of the bags had leaked. And that's why you see these packing peanuts have gone all a bit like this. Uh, and then when they've leaked, that should have been fine if they had done what I'd said and stored the box that way. But it's probably been kept upside down and it's leaked out through the lid. And that's why it's made the box go all like this. And I wonder if what's actually happened is they came to deliver it, saw the box was wet, thought I wouldn't accept it and took it away again. Because at one point on the tracking website it was showing as being delivered at like three o'clock on Friday. And then it just went, nope, delayed, not coming. But am I just being too cynical? Maybe. Let's have a look at them in the bags. So not much to see at the moment. Um, these are the wild guppies. Um, I don't know that I'll definitely be putting them in these tanks that I've put them in. I've just floated them there for now to get up to temperature because I have to go and get number three child from school shortly. But the wilds, they looked okay actually. Um, so hopefully they'll get up to temperature. And this one, I've got the the blonde blush double swords. Um, they look to be doing okay, that bag. In fact, most of them look okay. That I can see. That one in the back doesn't look brilliant, but you never know. And then over here, We've got the Blue Star Endlers. And again, some of them look okay. That bag there at the back has got a couple of floaters in it, I can see from here. But considering how long it's, they've been stuck in shipping and considering how cold it's been, that could have been a hell of a lot worse. So right now, all I'm concerned about is temperature and, and then I'm just going to get them out. I'm going to do my plop and drop. I know people will complain that I have to do drip acclimation or climatization, depending where you come from and all that kind of stuff. I, I really think the most important thing here is because they've been in the bag so long, as soon as I open these bags, the oxygen hitting that will um, any ammonia in there will get a lot more toxic because the pH will swing instantly as soon as the oxygen gets in there. So I think it's a lot more prudent just to get them into some nice fresh water. Um, so temperature, get that matched as good as I can and then get them out. I've talked about that whole ammonia pH relationship and how to ship fish in videos before. So I'll not bore you all to tears with that again. Yeah. They look pretty good. So I think we've definitely got maybe three, between three and five that look completely kaput. But out of a hundred odd fish, that's not too bad. Oh, well, obviously it is bad, but compared to how bad it could have been, 
Where are they all gone? Yeah. They're really cool, them. These are the wild guppies. Oh, while we're here, I might as well show you these. Um, these are the tiger endlers, which is never going to focus on for some reason. Go on, focus, please. These are the tiger endlers, which are really stunning. And they have just recently had a load of fry. Yes, I know there's quite a bit of algae on the walls there, but that's almost by design. But if I can see any, they're all going to be hiding now. Down the bottom there, I don't know if you can see it. There's one of the little babies. Just there. There's another one up here, up the front. Uh, there's a ton of them anyway. So they've been dropping fly like nobody's business. And then in here, my existing blue stars. Uh, also a ton of fry in here. So these guys are doing really well. Anyway, we'll leave these guys in to get up to temperature, get them all nice and happy, get them whipped out the bags. And to do that, it's the same technique I've always used. Um, I'll just put a net over a bucket, pour the water out, dump the net back in. And then hopefully we'll be able to do a bit of a head count and hopefully we don't lose too many. So now I better go and get my daughter. All right, we're back. It's kind of four-ish hours later that they've been in here. I've tried to split them up a little bit. So we've got some of the blonde blush guppies in here. Um, I don't know why that light's just come on. That's way too bright, but anyway. So I've put the majority of them in there. I think I've lost one out of this tank. Um, in this one here, we've got the wild guppies. Brilliant colours on these. Um, so, uh, this tank is the Tiger Endlers, so I've not done anything with these, they're still as they were. And then here was my existing blue stars with all their babies. Let me see if I can get in a little bit closer on these and see some of the youngsters in here. There's a couple of like, maybe day old fry in here. So it's actually teeming with fry this tank, it's doing really well. So this tank down here I've used for the rest of the blonde blush. We had quite a few out of this tank unfortunately I didn't make it one whole bag of death. But the rest are seeming to be picked up. There was a few that were, were kind of looking dead, but they have perked up a little bit. So they're not doing too badly. And then this tank, it was a bit of an accident actually. I didn't mean to put any in this tank. I meant to use one of the other tanks and just had a bit of a brain fart. And yeah, it. I don't know why I did that, but I put one bag's worth of blue stars in here. You can see them all up near the top. And I thought, well, as I've put one bag in, I may as well put the rest in. I had planned to quarantine them properly. Um, but yes, lost quite a few to this tank. And the blue stars were probably the ones that were affected the most. They looked the ropiest. In fact, there's one down there that I'd missed. Um, but there was a couple in here earlier that just really didn't look... They were floating, looking dead, but as soon as I went to net them out, they'd swim away. In fact, that might be one of them down there. Let me see what happens if I try and get it with a net. Yeah, that one's definitely dead. So, I don't love the fact that a lot of them are swimming up very high in the tank. It's usually indicative of a sign that they're struggling for oxygen, which might be a thing given that they have been in a bag for a long time. This one here, definitely doing a little bit of gasping. And that's why I've got, this is the tank. That's probably why I did it by accident, but I think, and I know I've got two air filters in here, so that'll be getting lots of surface movement. I might add in another 
um, as well as oh, as well as this breeder box here, creating some flow. Uh, I may add in another air stone just to get some extra going in here. Because this guy does not look good either. But yeah, it's a bit of a killer because I was really looking forward to bringing these fish in. Um, especially since it's the same seller that gave me these two tanks which are doing so well and they're such beautiful colours and fish. Yeah, it's just a bit of a shame that that's the one I've lost. I mean, this is my little tub of death. Well, it's not a nice thing to be looking at, but there's quite a few in there. And I don't blame the seller. This is 100% no fault here, other than with UPS for the delayed delivery. They did spring for the extra fast shipping, the 24 hour guarantee that obviously didn't get guaranteed. And I know there's a lot going on in the world which does that. So if there's a lesson to be learned, I guess that's don't try and ship fish on a Friday. So I don't know how much of this is because it was a Friday and whether they would have delivered on the Saturday or whether they did cock something up and they didn't want to deliver a wet box and have me shout at them straight away. Um, yes, half of me is wondering if this was meant to be on a Thursday, would they have come on the Friday and they just didn't come at the weekend because it was the weekend, so their next day was Monday. I can't really find a clear answer on that, um, but yeah. It's a bit sad, it's not the way you want to start off um, going into shipping fish in any kind of scale, but it happens and that is one of the downsides of the hobby. I mean, people say, oh, I can't believe people ship fish in the, in the post. I mean, where do they think these fish come from originally? Um, they are shipped all over the country and all over the world all the time. So this is a perfectly normal thing that happens all the time. Um, it just went wrong this time. So, I'm hoping I'm going to have some more positive videos in the future. Um, I'll probably not, I might put some of these on sale um, soon. I'm going to do a bit of quarantine first. But I've got some of the other ones that have been here for a while that they could go on sale. But it's not really a great time of year being so cold, being so close to Christmas. And having all these delays with Covid, with the postal service and the other courier companies. Although saying that, if you saw my 10,000 subscriber giveaway, I posted that uh, this morning and it arrived this afternoon. That just beggars belief. Um, so, who knows what's going on. If you are buying fish from me at the moment, I'm kind of only offering the priority service, which is the one with the 24 guarantee, 24 hour guarantee, but as you see, even that guarantee isn't necessarily a guarantee. Um, so all the new fish will be quarantined for a few weeks in here anyway. I do have some bristle nose, some of the um, other te tetras, other guppies are for sale at the moment. Um, but yeah, a bit of a sour note this video I'm afraid. Anyway, if you like this kind of thing, not necessarily the death and destruction, if you like this kind of fishy content, please consider subscribing, hitting that subscribe button um, and come back and maybe I'll bring you a happier video next time. But anyway, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Uh, as always, click that subscribe button, click that bell, and leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, see you later. Bye!